Hello, this is Chloe here at Inner Whispers. Today I'll be doing a three card reading with the Goddess Oracle by Amy Sophia Marashinsky and Harana Yanto. Once again, I'll be using the pathway spread to look at what's coming up for us in the following week, commencing the 4th of February. So, the situation that we have um, is one where there is a theme around illness and wellness. This is the goddess Sulis, a goddess of spa waters. So this says to me that it could be a matter of, for example, we've been going to the gym a lot recently and now we've been wondering whether or not we should continue or how to best improve a, a fitness program. It could be about a small cold, something like that, or a, a more serious illness. So the action to avoid in this situation, ocean, sensuality. So this goddess is saying to us that now isn't the time to give in to our sensual urges. You might, if it's an exercise program that you've been doing, you might sort of feel, oh, it's so nice to snuggle down in my uh, bed. Or, oh, isn't chocolate yummy and tasty? But this goddess is saying not to give in to that sensual side of yourself. In terms of health questions a little bit more, I noticed that she is nearly naked and uh, lying in a waterfall. So I guess there's a bit of me saying, well, make sure that you dress appropriately for the weather wherever you are. Here we're expecting a big cold snap. So dress up warm if that's appropriate. And uh, keep yourself out of uncomfortable situations. She's lying in a waterfall, which isn't the best thing to do if you've got a cold coming on. So what is the action that we should take this week? <laughs> Corn woman. This goddess talks of nourishment, so if we're thinking about a wellness regime, then definitely look very carefully at what you're eating, not just the quantities, but the quality of the food that you're eating. It makes me think about superfoods, about making sure that we eat foods that are packed full of nutrition and nourishment. So, for example, avocado may not be the lowest fat thing that we can eat, but it does pack a powerful punch of vitamins and minerals that are very useful for us. So think about the quality of the food that you're eating. In terms of a cold or something like that, I also see this being about nourishing our soul, taking care of ourselves. In that sense as well, both the Ocean Sensuality card and the Corn Woman card speak to me about if we need to be taking medicines, then to not sort of think, oh, this tastes horrible, but to think about what it's doing for us, uh, the benefits and the nourishment that we get from it, the wellness that it will promote in us. So this week, I hope that you will take good care of yourself. It could also be referring to a loved one, and so to help someone else, perhaps, a pet or a person in your family or just a friend, to encourage them as well to take care of themselves, to nourish themselves both physically and mentally, and to not give in to their sensual side when it is suggesting things that aren't very good for them. So that's the message this week from the Goddess Oracle. I hope you've enjoyed this reading and that you'll come back again soon. In the meantime, please listen to your own inner whispers.